Imagine a world where your brain can't feel pain. A world where you could undergo brain surgery fully awake, without feeling a thing. Sounds incredible, right? But what if I told you that our brains already lack pain receptors? Today, we're diving deep into the mysterious and sometimes misunderstood realm of brain pain, or the lack thereof. Buckle up, because this journey is going to blow your mind. First, let's set the record straight. The brain itself has no pain receptors, which is why during brain surgery, patients can be awake and feel no pain when the brain is operated on. However, the structures surrounding the brain, such as the meninges, blood vessels, and scalp, do have pain receptors. This is why we experience headaches and other types of cranial pain. But what if none of these structures had pain receptors either? What would that mean for us? To understand this, we need to delve deeper into the role of pain in our body. Pain serves as an essential alarm system for our body. It signals potential damage and prompts us to take action to protect ourselves. When you touch a hot stove, it's the pain that makes you pull your hand away quickly, preventing further injury. Now, imagine if this alarm system was turned off for our brain. Sounds intriguing, but also a bit scary, doesn't it? Let's start with the first major implication, diagnosis and medical implications. Pain is often the first symptom that something is wrong. It's what drives us to seek medical attention. Without pain receptors in the brain and its surrounding structures, conditions like brain tumors, hemorrhages, and infections might go unnoticed until they become severe. Imagine someone developing a brain tumor but not experiencing any headaches or pain. By the time other symptoms, like vision problems or cognitive decline, manifest, the condition could be much more advanced and harder to treat. This lack of pain can lead to delayed diagnoses, making treatment more complex and less effective. Doctors rely heavily on patients' reports of pain to guide their diagnostic process. Without these crucial signals, identifying and treating brain-related issues becomes a daunting task. Next, consider the increased risk of undetected damage. In activities where head injuries are common, like sports, the absence of pain could lead to severe, undetected damage. Athletes might continue playing despite having a concussion or other head injuries, exacerbating the damage. Without the immediate feedback of pain, they wouldn't know to stop and seek medical help. This could lead to long-term neurological issues, including chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, a condition found in many professional athletes. From an evolutionary perspective, pain has played a critical role in survival. Pain prompts protective behaviors that have been vital for the survival of our species. If our brains had evolved without pain receptors, it might have affected the development of other protective mechanisms. This could potentially change how humans respond to danger, impacting our evolutionary path. Psychologically and behaviorally, the absence of pain would also bring significant changes. Pain influences behavior by motivating us to avoid harmful situations. Without the sensation of pain related to the brain and its surroundings, people might take greater risks, leading to higher instances of injury and trauma. This could fundamentally alter human behavior and decision-making processes. And let's not forget about the challenges in treating conditions. Many neurological conditions, such as migraines, are diagnosed and managed based on the patient's pain profile. Without pain as a guiding symptom, treatment protocols would need significant adjustments. For instance, migraines might not be identified until they cause severe secondary symptoms, complicating the treatment process. On the flip side, there could be some surgical advantages. Surgeries involving the brain might be easier to perform without the need for extensive pain management. This could reduce the risks associated with anesthesia and pain medications, making certain medical procedures less daunting for patients. However, the absence of pain receptors is not without its complexities. It's a delicate balance between protection and oblivion. While the idea of a painless brain might sound appealing, it underscores the crucial role that pain plays in our lives. To further understand, let's explore the neurological pathways of pain and how they operate. Imagine the brain as a central command center, where various signals are sent and received. These signals travel through a network of nerves and synapses, communicating everything from the sensation of touch to the experience of pain. When you stub your toe, for example, sensory neurons in your toe send a pain signal through the spinal cord to the brain. The brain then processes this signal and interprets it as pain. This rapid communication allows us to react almost instantly to harmful stimuli, protecting us from further injury. But with the brain itself lacking pain receptors, this process is different. The pain you feel during a headache isn't from the brain, but from the tissues and blood vessels surrounding it. These areas are rich in pain receptors that send signals to the brain when something is wrong. Now let's consider the psychological implications. Pain is not just a physical experience. It's deeply tied to our emotions and psychological state. Chronic pain, for example, can lead to depression, 
anxiety, and a reduced quality of life. It's a complex interplay between the mind and body. Without pain signals from the brain or its surrounding structures, individuals might not experience the psychological toll that chronic pain can take. While this sounds positive, it also means that they might not seek help for underlying issues, leading to severe consequences down the line. This brings us to an important point, the importance of awareness and proactive health management. In a world where the brain feels no pain, individuals would need to be more vigilant about their health. Regular checkups, advanced diagnostic tools, and a heightened sense of self-awareness would become crucial. Moreover, this scenario would necessitate advancements in medical technology. Imagine wearable devices that constantly monitor brain activity and detect abnormalities early on. These technologies could become essential in a world where pain is not a reliable indicator of health issues. Let's also touch upon the ethical considerations. With the brain feeling no pain, the potential for misuse in various fields, such as sports and military, increases. Athletes might push their bodies beyond safe limits, and soldiers could be subjected to extreme conditions without immediate feedback of injury. The ethical implications are vast. Balancing the benefits of reduced pain with the risk of harm due to lack of awareness requires careful consideration and regulation. On a brighter note, this could revolutionize medical research and treatment. Scientists could study the brain more freely, developing new treatments for neurological conditions without the constraints of managing pain during research. To sum up, a world where the brain has no pain receptors presents a fascinating yet complex scenario. While it offers potential advantages in certain areas, it also poses significant challenges and risks. It reminds us of the delicate balance between the body's alarm systems and our overall well-being. So, what do you think? Would a brain without pain receptors be a blessing or a curse? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of the brain, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our fascinating explorations. And share this video with your friends to spark an intriguing discussion. Until next time, keep pondering the wonders of the human brain and stay curious.